what's up, TQ fam? Juice has requested it. TQ fam have requested it. There's many YouTube videos out there to show you how to upgrade your PS3 hard drive. You know that are very you know step by step videos. But everybody wants to see a TQ Cast exclusive PS3 hard drive upgrade video. So that's what I got for you today. Uh, this is of course uh, for Juice and uh, a couple of the TQ fam over there and some over there. And also, while I'm here, I might as well clear up that the whole Univision thing for TUCast was just a hoax. All right, it was an April Fool's joke, and I know a lot of people that probably started listening to the uh, latest cast, episode 59. They uh, they listen to Sp Spanish cast, El Te Cucast. And uh, actually, if you forward that seven minutes into the show, we basically tell you April Fools, and the basic clown is now one, right? And uh, don't believe anything that Juice says about my hair. My hair is crisp. I'm just wearing this beanie because it's actually really cold. My hair, my hair is fine. What's wrong with my hair? So, you know. So, uh, anyways, I'm gonna walk you through uh, upgrading your hard drive on your PS3. I got a 40 gig PS3 that's sitting pretty down here, and uh, I'm running out of space. I mean, I was like downloading, you know, Resident Evil 5. Or uh, install it the other day, and I couldn't. I had to delete games that I that I loved, you know, because I I had to install that game. And uh, it's time for an upgrade. So 320 gigs is what we're going for, which will roughly give you about 288 gigs of free space because you lose some with the formatting, and you lose some for uh, Sony's little uh, disk management thing. So let's go ahead and get started. Once again, we're in the 42 inch Akai TQHQ in the family room actually, and we're gonna upgrade this 40 gig PS3 that I have right here to a 20, 320 gig. So let's check it out, baby. Yeah. All right, these are the things that we're gonna need. We're gonna need, of course, a Phillips and a flathead screwdriver. And then, of course, we're gonna need the big daddy of them all, the brand new 320 Western Digital Scorpio Blue hard drive. Make sure it's a 5400 RPM hard drive. You don't want a 7200 RPM because it will overheat your PS3. And make sure you do your research. You know, you want to get a serial ATA hard drive. You also want to make sure that you get a hard drive that many PS3 owners have reviewed in the past and gave it good reviews. All right, next up, we're going to use, of course, our USB flash drive or our USB, in this case, external hard drive. Now, you guys are probably saying, Des, this is not an external hard drive, man. But you know what? I got you fooled again because it sure is. It's actually an external hard drive that is connected to a custom connection that I made myself. And I know Juice and Steve are going to laugh their ass off because they've clowned me before in the past on my setup here. But you know what? This works for me. Make sure your hard drive that you're going to use is formatted on FAT32 and make sure if you have an, uh, uh, a bigger hard drive, make sure you make an, uh, a partition that's 30 gigs because FAT32 will not read anything over 32 gigs unless you have some sort of special software. So make sure you format FAT32. All right, let's go ahead and use our external beauty to connect to our PlayStation 3. And once we're in the X and B, you want to go into system settings. And once you're in there, you want to go into backup utility. And we want to click on backup. Go ahead and accept it. They warn you that the trophies will not be backed up. But you should know that because trophies are not on your system. They're actually on the servers. Go ahead and click yes again to actually do what you uh, your backup. And go ahead and select that, that beautiful external USB hard drive or USB flash drive that's there right now. Click it and it will prepare to back up. The process takes anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour depending on how many, uh, how many items you have and how big your partition is. And once it's complete, uh, you should be good to go. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and use our flathead screwdriver to take this little plate out where the hard drive's at. Little hard drive compartment. Very simple. And now what we're going to do is we're going to unscrew that blue screw that you see there. Now I'm using this flathead. Uh, don't try not to strip the screw. I'm using this small flathead because it fits perfect in there. And uh, at that time I couldn't find my Phillips. So you'll see later on the show that I do find my Phillips though. So I'm going to go ahead and unscrew this real quick. 
Now, I did remember seeing some of the older uh, PlayStation 3, some of the YouTube videos that they had to actually pull this lever here to the left to kind of pull the hard drive out. You know what? I think these new PS3s, as you can see here, all you have to do is pull the lever out. So check this out. All I'm going to do is pull it out. No moving left or right. And there is your stock 40 gig PlayStation 3 hard drive serial ata and i just want to remind everybody again when you're backing up make sure you back up your stuff on fat 32 your playstation 3 will not read any other file format so make sure that you actually uh format on fat 32 and it looks very dusty in here so you know what right now what we're gonna need to do is dust this baby so let's go ahead and take it to my garage and we're gonna go ahead and dust this using my compressor right here All right, man, we're back with a beautiful, new, clean PlayStation 3. And now what we want to do is unscrew the screws on this plate from the existing hard drive. So let's go ahead and take these screws off. And once you get them out, go ahead and place your massive new hard drive. Make sure that the, the, the plate, the flat part of the hard drive is also facing the flat part of the, the plate that holds the hard drive. And just pop it on top you don't even have to slide it it's easier just to put it on top and then go ahead and screw put your screws back in you got four of them two in the front and two in the back so go ahead and start screwing all right i got my screws all in one two three four so now it's time to put this massive western digital 320 gig hard drive into the playstation 3 just like so and it's a little slide in there and you'll you'll see this move you don't have to touch that lever it slides right in once you push it all the way and then we're gonna do is go ahead and screw it screw uh, that blue put that blue screw back in and as you can see now I found my Phillips screwdriver so we're good to go now and of course put your little black plate back on top it snaps in and there we go so let's go ahead and uh, restore our data now now the reason I got this error when trying to format is because I downloaded the 2.7 update to a USB flash drive from my PC so I didn't choose to download it directly to my PS3 I went to the internet and downloaded this update then I used a USB flash drive and installed it from there so if you guys directly download it to your PS3 don't even worry about this error you will not get it it's gonna prompt you to format but for those that did you will need your USB flash drive to so you can find that that uh, install file alright man so I finally got through that so you go ahead and it tells you it has to format so it's gonna start formatting once the formatting is complete it's gonna go through some uh, some uh, menus where it tells you to accept everything you know just like a brand new PlayStation and then you're gonna get a basic menu you know everything is just basic so what you want to do now is go back and restore your data now you want your you know your backgrounds your old game saves everything back in there so we're going now to backup utility once again from your system uh, uh, settings and this time we're gonna select restore it says do you want to restore you hit yes and there is your trusty old external hard drive again and you wanna go ahead and select that and there we see it restoring your data alright guys so there you have it we're back to our old school menu from our original 40 gig but now on a bigger hard drive so you can see we have all our game saves back our background everything is back loving it alright to you fan we did it we upgraded my PS3 320 gig hard drive upgrade we have 235 free that we can use, much better than 30 something. So, hey man, all we can do now is celebrate. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video. We'll catch you on TCast episode 60, baby. Woo!